Hello again. Rhubarb and custard are a great combination, but I'm going to use them today in a slightly different and unexpected way to make a crumble. So have a look at this and see what you think. So I'm going to show you my rhubarb and custard crumble. Now, I've got the oven on to gas mark 6, which is 200 Celsius, 180 fan or 400 Fahrenheit if you're in um, the United States. And for this you're going to need about 300 grams of rhubarb, and I've got that very early forced rhubarb. I'm going to put it into a dish that's slightly bigger than you would expect. This will serve two people generously, or three people with a slightly smaller portion, but I've got quite a big dish because it does tend to rather bubble up and I don't want it to make a mess in your oven. So the dish is a bit bigger than you would normally use for two or three people. So I've trimmed the rhubarb after I washed it and I'm going to cut it up into sort of pieces that are about a couple of centimetres about like that. Um, and you haven't got to be too precise with the rhubarb. Somewhere between 250 and 300 grams is perfect. There we are. Now that's all going to go into my dish. If it's a bit stringy, pull the stringy bits off, won't you? Right, now, to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of caster sugar because you know rhubarb has got this reputation for being incredibly sour. We don't want to put anybody off. And then to that, to make it more interesting, we're going to add a little bit of stem ginger. And the best way to deal with this is with a knife and fork. So I'm going to simply take one of these little round things and cut it between the prongs of the fork and then just spread it over the top of my rhubarb. And again, just cut it into smallish chunks. Really don't get too much in one place because somebody's going to get all of it. And it is quite a strong flavour. So just use your knife and fork to spread that round a bit. I need to put some in that corner. Right, so now here comes the twist. Onto the top of that, we put some custard. Now you can make it yourself if you want to, but these little cartons are perfect. And for this quantity, you just need two of these. So this goes over the rhubarb now. I know it seems a bit odd, but trust me, because it does work. And you just get that to go over the top of your rhubarb. There we are, that's our rhubarb. And our custard, just give it a spread around if you need to. But that's the base, done, couldn't be easier. So now we move on to the topping. And for this, I have got, I've got a dirty finger there, I've got 100 grams of plain flour. And to that I'm going to add 60 grams of butter. And we're just gonna rub that in. So coat it in flour to start with, break it up a bit, and then start to rub in. It's a warm day, so mine's, my butter's a little bit soft. So just be careful it doesn't get too over rubbed. If you don't want to use butter, you can use margarine. If you want to use wholemeal flour, you can do that. So you can really vary it according to your taste. And if you want to use gluten-free, that's perfectly fine too. So just turn your bowl around so that you're not always rubbing in the same place. And this is going to make quite a yellow crumble because of the butter. There we are, that's about right. So to that we're going to add some sugar. And for this one, it's demerara sugar. So 60 grams of demerara. Give it a stir. That's all there is to it, couldn't be easier. Now this goes on the top of our rhubarb. So just spoon it over evenly. And there is a risk that the, the custard and the juices will kind of bubble up. So try and get your edges well covered. I'll just change my grip with that. And this is quite an interesting take on rhubarb and custard, which is a great favorite. It's just all in one, that's all. There we are. So, what could be easier? 
that's it ready to go in the oven onto a baking tray just in case it bubbles over but it goes in for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's golden and it will be bubbly at the edges okay right in we go quite high up in the oven and of course I would put something else in at the same time if I'm you so you don't just waste the heat but this is for you just today that it's on its own and it's going to be in for I'm going to set the time for 25 minutes and we'll see how it looks right time's up let's have a look now it's had 25 minutes oh yes look at that now can you see that golden brown it's certainly bubbly at the corners. If the dish was very small, it may well bubble over the top, but you can see that the pink of the rhubarb's bubbled up in the uh, custard as well. It's gonna be very, very hot at the moment, so I'm gonna let that cool down a bit before I serve that. But I think you'll find that's quite an interesting thing to make. So have a go and let me know how you get on. I hope you like it. Bye for now.